2013, Irish couple Grain and Nathan Evans were happily expecting a new addition to the family. Grain, a mother of three, was preparing to give birth to a baby girl. But that news soon turned to anxiety, when doctors considered an anomaly during a 20-week ultrasound. Unborn daughter Tessa suffered from an extremely rare condition. The girl had a defect called total congenital arginia. This meant that the girl would be born without a nose or nasal passage. Only 47 such cases have been recorded in history, and Tessa is one of only two such children in the United Kingdom. When the ultrasound showed the anomaly, I couldn't understand it, I didn't even know it was possible, Grain told the Daily Mail. How does a little girl live without a nose? Can anyone help her? The mother was faced with the choice of terminating the pregnancy or giving birth. Based on the results of the initial study, the medics recommended terminating the pregnancy, said Grain. But the couple didn't decide to do that and weren't about to give up their daughter. Fortunately, subsequent ultrasounds showed that Tessa was a strong and healthy baby girl. Nevertheless, the anomaly made the circumstances of the girl's birth more complicated than usual. Kissed my daughter on the forehead and told her I loved her before they took her away. Felt lonely and helpless from having to protect my baby, but I couldn't. There are tubes everywhere, attached to her tiny body, the mother said. Despite her health problems, little cheerful Tessa later recovered and became like any other little girl. But the baby girl's first months of life were not easy. The doctors were able to stabilize the newborn so that she could breathe on her own, and eventually I was allowed to hold my daughter in my arms for a few seconds. Tessa spent the first five weeks in the neonatal intensive care unit, which were by far the hardest weeks of my life, Brian recalls. Tessa was born with a hole in her heart and an eye condition. When she was three months old, the baby had surgery to remove cataracts from her left eye, The complications left the girl blind in one eye. In addition, Tessa also acquired a tracheotomy that allowed the girl to breathe when she ate and slept. The girl persevered through the difficulties and became attractive, playful, and happy. She loves to play with her brother and sister, is always smiling, and won't let me stop her when she's doing something, says her mother. Nevertheless, there was still a problem that the parents hoped to solve with modern medical technology. Mom and dad loved their daughter just the way she was, but in order to live in society, the girl had to look like everyone else. So the parents took matters into their own hands. They studied all the information about their daughter's rare condition. The couple made the difficult decision to have an experimental nose job, despite the patient's young age. Everyone who meets Tessa instantly falls in love with her. We just want our daughter to inspire other people like she inspires us, the mom said. Using cosmetic surgery expertise at Great Ormond Street Hospital in London, Tessa underwent experimental surgery for a prosthetic nose, created using the latest 3D printing technology. Over time, the processes will be updated to match the girl's face until adolescence, when a final, fully functional nose will be implanted. Tessa is a pioneer. Other children born with the Archnea will be saved with the experience gained from Tessa's surgeries, and will be able to lead normal lives. Surgeons have not performed this kind of surgery before. The benefits are clear. The early surgery not only saved the girl's face from scarring, but also made it easier to implant a subsequent prosthesis. This is an incredibly difficult decision for the family. We love Tess, and think our daughter is beautiful as it is, but we decided to go forward, because it's a chance, to gradually change the girl's appearance over the years, and normalize the profile without cutting into her face," said Green. In 2015, two-year-old Tessa had her first surgery, and was fitted with a prosthesis, not a full nose, but only a temporary implant to improve her facial profile. But the effect was immediate. We're thrilled with the result, the mother says. This little girl is giving hope to families all over the world. Tessa recently underwent a second surgery and will have to have surgery in the future, but she has paved the way for other children suffering from Archinia. I've been campaigning since she was born to make people aware of this condition and to show how beautiful children with Archinia are. We are happy to share the results of Tessa's surgery and believe it is a positive example for other sick children, said Green. If we had known the little girl would be jumping on the trampoline with her older sibling, laughing, running and mischievous, it would have made all the difference. We would have cried a lot less and worried a lot less, said the happy mom.